Iramir or Iramir? Iramir. Okay. Okay, so we got all we got all the characters. Um, we're gonna be starting up all that fun stuff. Someone just pounded the ground like thunder, so that was cool. That, is, <laughs> that doesn't really it is work. thundering near us, by the way. It's not thundering near me. Oh, it is for me. No, it was thundering for like four hours, but no? it's done. It's raining all day for me. Yep. It never it stops raining like here. Uncut, like recording just for hours just going well that, oh yeah we need to set this up oh we're having technical difficulties well i just i don't know i just started a, like half a minute ago so oh, okay yeah um okay so then we're gonna be they will know nothing of what happened before thank god <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. so i guess we'll start off like i'll just introduce you guys to what the like uh the campaign is and everything so okay. this is called the mine, the Lost Mine of Fandelver, and this is like the base five E adventure that ships with the game. It was like the first official one that was wrote, written, came out. Okay. So All right. we are going to uh, let's just start. So you guys are in the city of Neverwinter when your dwarven patron and friend Gundren Rockseeker. Hires them hires you to escort a wagon to Fandalin. And uh, Gundren has gone ahead with a warrior. It's, it's Fandalin. Fandalin, Fandalin. Shut your whore mouth. Uh, Sildar Hallwinter follows with the supplies. And uh, you guys are going to be paid a certain amount of gold once you get to Fandalin and drop off said wagon of supplies. So hopefully you... Sorry, what was this guy? Hopefully what you guys think Gundron? Gund Gundar? Gundred? Gund Gundagunda? Gund Gundabah. Yep, Gunda Gunda is his yep. name. Yep, yep. It doesn't sound <laughs> racist at all. Gundren. 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 Gundren or Gundren, however you want to play it. However Gundren you want to say it. Rockseeker. Yep, Gundren Everybody Rockseeker. Everybody just call him something Gundren. different. Just, everyone just call him, like, Little G Papa, and you'll be good. Yeah. Oh, Alright, Little G Papa. Alright, write them down. Alright, you, hey, you better. Papa. Okay. You better, goddammit. So, it. so are we all walking along with the wagon, or are we all riding? Well... You can. You guys are starting out. Uh, you guys are just leaving the city of Neverwinter. It's like the main D and D hub for like close to everything. And um, okay. so you guys are. You guys are initially just leaving off with this wagon. You guys can walk in it. It's big enough that you guys can sit. It, well, as long as you're not a minotaur or something, that you can sit in it. <laughs> okay. I could pull the thing. You honestly probably could. You could be our pack animal. We got a packing. Let's meal. carry literally Let's do all it. of our supplies twenty four seven. Let's do this. I weigh I weigh probably more than all our supplies combined. I I'm not going to doubt that. <laughs> no, I will not either. I don't no. know if I'd be proud of that, but sure. You'd probably carry all of us on your shoulders. Hmm. Hey, I'm underweight in the Minotaur Society. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to sit in the wagon. Hmm. I'm gonna stay inside the wagon. Uh, I will also sit in the wagon. Nah, uh, screw it. I'm pulling it. <laughs> Can I sit in the wagon? Oh yeah, no, you're like seven no, foot. Two, huh? you yeah, I'm walk. seven. Okay, I'll walk on off all, all four. Okay. Walk. Wait, what's your what's your walking speed? <laughs> uh oh god, what was what was your name? Uh, Iramir. Oh wait, it doesn't say it. Well, it's thirty. Okay. Because uh, mine's fifty on all fours. So, so, so Gep can just run around us in circles as probably. <laughs> as <laughs> right, I'll just run around just, in circles <laughs> as yeah. Iromir slowly pulls us along, <laughs> and stopping for a break every ten minutes. <laughs> come on! <laughs> oh, come on! You're a giant minotaur. You're a minotaur. This is nothing. This is your Sunday workout. I'm not even. No, the I thing is, I'm not getting tired. I'm just doing it to piss you all off. Uh. I just imagine that since he's like an underweight minotaur, he's just got like he doesn't have the big burly muscles that minotaurs are associated with. They're like just scrawny little arms. He's the oh, nerdy God. minotaur. <laughs> he plays D and D. He plays he plays Hearths and Homes, the dragon version of D and D, where they where they play humans just trying to do a normal life. Uh. Okay. Oh God! So the yeah. Sims. Yeah, essentially, yeah. So uh, you guys have been on the Tribor Trail for about half a day. As you come across a bend, you spot two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you, blocking your path. Each has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. 
The woods press okay. close to the trail here with a steep embarkment and dense thicket on each side. I'm going to I'm going to let uh, Draconis do his thing. Uh, yeah. I'm going to hop out of that wagon. <clears throat> I I will follow him just as backup. Hop a dop a dop out of the wagon. I'll get I'll get out of the wagon and just stay on guard. I'll, okay. I'll take the reins off of me. Ooh. So, I'm going to go up and uh, I'm going to like examine. So, I'm going to examine the arrows and exactly which direction it appears the arrows came from. Would you like to do that? Okay, then. I would like to do that. Okay. Um, well, then you notice that the arrows have come out from what seems like both sides of the thicket that the uh, you guys are standing from. On either okay. side of the road, essentially. Okay. You guys pull out all the arrows, because I kind of want to eat this thing. <laughs> Uh, can I tell how long it's been sitting there? Uh, you'd have to... Let's see, where are we? I need a character sheet up. <laughs> um, you can. I'm gonna say that you're gonna need to roll a perception check. Though. One second. Okay, yeah, while, get, get while, like a dice roller up. While he's doing it, can uh, I do a have perception a check to look around us? You can. I have dark vision as well. You can, if you'd like. Okay, I roll 12, and I get a plus 3 what i roll so it'd be 15 15 okay so what were you doing uh seeing how long the bodies have been laying there okay so uh yeah you notice that the bodies haven't been there for too long maybe a few hours if that like okay. decay is just starting to set in okay um who is with me right now or... me i'm a bar yeah. what's your uh, name for god he's uh, a bar bear geb so uh, yeah. i'm gonna say to geb um these bodies are fresh uh we should be on the lookout. I rolled a perception check of 15 to see if there's anything around me. Okay. I have dark vision. I can see 100, mile, 100 feet. I'll say 100 miles. What the hell? <laughs> I can see 60. You got binoculars for eyeballs? Um. <laughs> and I also, I can also, I have um, proficient smells, so I can smell, too. Okay. okay. Uh, you smell the putrid decay of, well, the putrefying decay of the horses in front of you uh you look around Brody. In the wood. well of course you don't you look around in the woods and you don't really see anything around you okay um we're, we're in the woods well no sorry you, the you're you, you're on the road but the um the oh, road wait, is covered the terrain? yeah on either side is a large thicket of woods okay. on either side including forward or no left and right um, like on either so side of the trail. Like I'm it, going uh, to mention okay. that uh, I have Natural Explorer, and I'm not sure if this counts, but mm. my favorite terrain is forest. So does that kind of coincide? Woods, forest? I Well, it would be, but what does that do for you? Um, we cannot be ambushed as long as we're in the forest. Well, That's, that's good. good. I mean, you're technically not in the forest right now, but yeah, I, I well, give it to you. Yeah, guys. like, do you see why I'm mentioning it, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello. Uh, we can track and navigate in it very easily as long as I'm with them. Oh, that's pretty. Like, this nifty. is just me mentioning it. That's uh, that's, that's pre- who the heck uh, you talking? <laughs> yeah, who is who is honking? Um, okay, well that actually works to your favor a little bit. So you okay. can you can pretty much like see what's around you and things like that, track things and whatnot, right? Yeah, I have in- enhanced tracking because of Natural Explorer. As okay. long as I'm in my favored terrain. Okay, okay. Well, then in that case, then you notice that there are some... Hello? Oh, okay. Sound like someone's leaving. Um, you have... Uh, you notice that kind of running around the horse corpses and off into the woods, you can see that there's tracks, small creatures. They could possibly be goblins or kobolds or something like that. I um, speak fluent goblin, so that would be, that'd be pretty great. Dang. That's, I do, that, too. That is going to help you. So um, I'm gonna point them at, point them out to Geb if that's all good. Okay. And show uh, you the tracks. Okay. So uh, you want to follow? Okay. Uh, I wonder if we should go back and get somebody because we only have two of us. Should we go back and get somebody else? I think yeah, that's a good like, idea. I mean, I mean I'm yeah. Minotaur just kind of sitting here. <laughs> I think we should just get everybody. I'm looking I mean, around. I'm, pl- I'm just playing Angry Birds. Don't mind me. <laughs> I pull out a deck of cards and playing solitaire. Well, I I only fear that the transport will be ambushed while we're away. 
why don't we hide the hide the the wagon? We can hide it in the brush. We could put like branches over it. You could put the brush people wagon. come out. Yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> that this the is their home. They have home field pepper. advantage. They might notice a difference. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those ooga boogas. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say hide it under the brush. That's my vote. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So you guys are gonna be hiding under the brush, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna hide the. Wagon and wagon. Not, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna hide in a brush in an adventure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been here for three days. <laughs> um, do you guys? Happened. Did you guys have horses, or were you using Henzoid as like the horse, essentially? No, nah, I was pulling the. Yeah, we used we used Henzoid. We used as the Henzoid. Horse. Wow, for once, Geb isn't the pack animal. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, okay, so yeah, you guys hide under the brush, and um, as you guys, as uh, I gotta see your names again. I don't even remember them. <laughs> um, where the hell are your names? <laughs> Halo, you said that yeah. yours is the one that you can't be ambushed, right? No, uh, Draconis. Allie or Draconis? I sent, I sent the Draconis. names again. Draconis oh, cannot be ambushed. Thank you. As, I, lo- as long as we're in... Uh, forest. Forest. I, I can detect evil. I can see in darkness. Okay. And I can... Yeah, his, his detect evil is an aura, though. So if there's any evil around him, mm. he can sense it. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's like a smell. Like a smell. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Does evil, detect evil like, it's just... I can just like, smell evil, evil things? Or, evil. like, someone doing something evil? Because it no, could evil be evil things. It could be both. Evil though. intention. Yeah. Evil intention. Okay, yeah, I can so, smell So, like, if I wanted to just go pickpocket somebody, you would just smell that and be no. like, no. No, no, not like that. It'd be like okay. someone just murdered someone or something like that. Yeah, he'd sense oh. that they killed somebody. Yeah, that's pretty. Kind of. evil. That, that's anyway, kind of evil. Continue. Yeah. Um, okay, you know, so kind of. So as you notice, uh, as you guys are turning around, Draconis, you notice that there are small little goblin ears popping out of a bush near where they, um, where the horses were. Okay. So there are a uh, few goblins around you. I'm going to draw my rapier. Are you? Yes. I'm Wait, have I noticed this yet? No. You guys have to communicate to everyone, so that's up to uh, you. Do you guys notice me drawing what? my rapier looking at a bush? Do I do I, I sense evil? Can I sense for evil when he pulls out his rapier? It's uh, a constant. I don't know. I see him pulling out his rapier, and I'm like, they kill they kill those horses. I am I immediately pull out my uh, loot. <laughs> well, if I could sense them, I could see how many there are. I'm like, yo, why are you pulling out your rapier? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say so, there's goblins in that bush over there. Well, I speak goblin, so why don't I just go have a chat, you know, over a nice cup of tea? That's up wait, to you. Wait, I'm not letting can, my guard down. Who can speak goblin? Me. The giant minotaur. <laughs> what? I, I can also speak goblin, so should really? we both go over there? <laughs> let's just... Let's just be the ambassadors. Let's just yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go a man. Minotaur and a bard. Okay. So the Minotaur and the a bard are walking up, I guess, to the goblin. Minotaur, minotaur and a bar walking to a bar. The speaking forest. Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you, you guys. Actually, so ridiculous. Actually, I help because of some spells I have. So what are you guys so going to do? I'm actually you? very helpful with it. Yo, if there's also any abysmal uh, abyssals or giants around, I can talk to those things. How many too. languages did you pick out? Jeez. Yeah, I, I start with giant and a ab- and abyssal, and it get, and being from uh, Outlander, I get one more language. Yeah. So I pick goblin. You get one more language as an Outlander. God damn. I get four. <laughs> I can speak all. And I start with abyssal and giant. God damn. I can I speak the bears. Bears. I, got more. I speak only three languages. Yeah, I have three: Elvish, Common, Draconic. Elvish, common, and abyssal. So. Oh, I forgot to add common, but I do speak common. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a minotaur that can't speak common. <laughs> so Okay, so just, what are you guys so, doing? Okay. I wanted to detect how many goblins there are. Okay. Uh, I guess roll perception then for that. Alright. D20. I have plus... I know. Uh, oh, wait. Are you proficient in your per- perception? I have plus three perception. Yep. Okay. As long as it's a mark, you're fine. A 17? Okay, you notice that there are two goblins on one side and two goblins on the other. Uh, They don't have their weapons drawn that you can see. They're kind of just like sitting in the bush. I I go up and I go, hey, 
Hail, hail travelers. Hail travelers. We come in peace. In hail goblin, travelers. I imagine. And what up, my crackers? <laughs> the uh, the two goblins that are sitting closest to you guys pop up, and they both look terrified. They look mortified. <laughs> oh yeah, we have two massive beings walking up to tiny goblins. They, I they... yell in my most masculine voice, "We are not here to hurt you." That's terrible. One of the goblins really loud. One of the, the goblins face. just straight books it. He fucking <laughs> runs. He hears you bellowing anything, and he is completely gone. <laughs> the, I'm gonna guess their speeds are through the roof. I think he's um, gone. Just a little bit. Yeah, he's he's their completely speeds are gone. at a thousand. No, no, they're not Speedy Gonzalez or the Roadrunner or something. <laughs> So the other goblin is sitting there, just shivering in fear, and he kind of looks up to you and he goes, "What do you want?" I, w- I want to know why you're behind the bush. You're kind of being creepy, man. What? what? I, I'm are not, you a creep? I'm, I'm not trying, behind a bush. Look what, at what us? are you talking about? I'm not behind a bush. Oh, I'm sorry. You're standing out. I'm sorry. You're standing out. But what? I'm, why? What there, are you doing there? There are there are no there are no bushes. I'm just I'm just standing here. I'm just doing my thing. Yo, yo, dude, listen. Why? If you're chill, I'm chill. What do you want? I, they, what? I, d- <laughs> s- someone, someone attacked these horses, these people on horses, and we were just trying to pick for berries, and they just got shot real quick, and then ran, and our friends just kind of got scared, and we got we hid in the bush because we didn't know what else to do. My other buddy that was standing next to me, he 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 pissed himself. I'm standing in his piss. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm so sorry, man. It's not uh, pretty. I gotta not, say, I look at him right in the face and I say, "So there is a bush." There, there, <laughs> there may be a bush that's now covered in piss. Yes. <laughs> can, can I? Uh, oh, can, I ask, can I? Can I ask you, sir, what uh, what what exactly happened? Did you see anything? Like, right. did you see any of the people who I, attacked or we, anything? N- no, no, there there was no attack. We didn't see anything. We were just in the bush picking berries. That, that's did it. The horses, uh, that's did it. the horses, when they got hit by the arrows, did they kind of just, like, uh, die of there, wounds? Or did they look like they were just, like, there, there are no, like... There are no horses. As you as he's, you guys are talking to him, the other I'm two. Gonna, I'm going to cast I'm gonna cast friends on him. It's my cantrip. As soon as you raise your hands, he just starts running. It's I not, yell, it's not, no, I come back, we have cookies. I don't oh. raise my hand, it's concentration. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, so as just... you, okay, as you're doing that, the other two goblins that pop up on the other side of the road, what the? What, he goes, "What the hell are you doing? Stop telling him stuff. Run. Come over here." Uh, you can. I you promise can, we're in peace. You can see that he's kind of like conflicted. Like there are two massive beasts standing in front of him. Should he run and possibly risk getting his soul ripped out and to his buddies? <laughs> and a guy or... standing in the middle of the road with a rapier drawn. Yeah. <laughs> or the person in armor bearing big sword and shield. Can I start? Can I start playing them a song just to to help ease their their tensions? Oh, I will join you uh, in you song. Can, with you can you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, you I, and I, the, the two man band, the, the goblin speakers. What what should we start playing? Band. Well, because I I only have a drum. That's all I have. And I've got a lute, so we're good. Let, let's play some uh, Metallica. He, the, the other two <laughs> rush fun. really quickly through the bush into the, next to the other guys because they saw that you were pulling out instruments. And they were very intrigued. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's do it. One, two, Can three, go. Can I see go. them uh, holding instruments? I, what? Where are you? I think I'm a little bit behind them still on the road. Uh, Wait, yes. You can see that they're pulling are... something out, but I don't know if you can really see that they're instruments. He's got it dark only vision. says drums, so can I choose what kind of drum it is? Yeah, if you yeah. want. You can choose All a right, freaking it's... bongo, a glockenspiel, anything. No, it's a four-piece <laughs> belt timpani. <laughs> You have a timpani with you? I have oh, I have four-piece belt timpani. Okay. Oh, man, oh. you guys are going to be so popular in towns. <laughs> they don't I have a loot. Just, I, I have a loot, yes. I thought you had bagpipes. I have, I have the bagpipes, bagpipes oh, okay. loot, and a violin. We lost the squid. squid. We lost the squid. Squid, did you go again? Oh no! Why does he keep now? It's going to be another month before he returns. Seriously, lost our ranger. God damn it! Um, oh, he's back. He's gone. Yes? No? Are you, are you jumping back in? Oh, oh he's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> God dang it! We... Okay. Oh, Squid? he's back. Ben, Sorry Squid. about that. Your internet cut crapping out, huh? 
Uh, just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, dude. Um, okay, so did you catch everything, or like, where did you stop? I only heard you say, "Where are you?" Oh, okay. So, where are you? Uh, I am in the middle of the road, kind of behind them. Okay. You so, start dark vision too, by the way. Oh, yes. that's right. Okay, so you by can see in, like feet. the you can see in the little like undergrowth and all that stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah so you can't, like. You can't, like, zoom in on things. Though. No, he's not an eagle, but... That'd be cool. <laughs> an eagle person? <laughs> tentacle what? person. Oh. Only a mass of tentacles. Oh, I, I am one. Um, <laughs> so, so, yeah, so you guys, um, I guess you start playing a song to them? Yeah, we start yeah, but playing... While uh... we're playing the song, I dance up and down, making the ground shake a little, but I'm um, <laughs> just like... Just like do dee do dee do. I got my pan flute out playing along. <laughs> <laughs> Those goblins must be so confused. I'm hey. trying to pull out my bagpipes and play the bagpipes. They were. <laughs> wait, wait, so what do we have? Bagpipes, lute, and timpani. What are you? So go- we're playing Meta- we're playing Metallica <laughs> with the lute. No, we're playing we're playing like Dragon Force. <laughs> Oh my no, god. So, we need to start singing as Puff the Magic Dragon. So <laughs> as you guys are starting your incredible um performance, the uh the three goblins kind of look at each other in in sheer horror because they don't <laughs> understand what's going on. <laughs> they were expecting to hear a nice little bar tavern song and you guys and you started shredding on the lute and timpani. <laughs> We, we are shredding all of the nog. So one of the other goblins kind of just runs again in sheer terror. <laughs> what? And there's what's so scary about Metallica. It's what's so like... scary about an eight foot tall panda minotaur playing Metallica at you? <laughs> With it's the devil's elf music in the background playing <laughs> a. Just think about it as a cow and actually a panda. Pandas are cute sometimes. Oh. A cow and a panda singing a song. So. Not... Okay. Two giant things stomping. Okay, so you guys are doing your thing, and um, one of them goes, uh, "That that's that's very nice. Uh, what what are you doing?" <laughs> I I stop playing. And I just go. So we want to know what happened, sir. Please, uh, <laughs> I, I what you're going to talk. They please. they both glance at each other and they say, "I'd be I'd I'd be willing to tell you for a small fee." And uh, then. That's when I say, that's that's when I look at this guy and I say, "Hey, buddy," and then that's and then I just pick him up. I just pick no, him up. No, 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 no. Before you pick him up, before you pick him up, I cast friends on him, so I have advantage on charisma checks as concentration, and then I want to, what is it? Persuade, persuade him to give us the information. Okay. All right. So, what did you roll for your persuasion then? I am literally about to do that. Okay. Uh, I have, okay, so, I have advantage, so, thank god. Mm. I, shit. <laughs> Holy shit, I actually rolled a nat 20. Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, so. I rolled off the bed and I got a nat 20. <laughs> so you're picking him up, I guess? No, 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 I, I, I have persuasion, so I'm persuading him. Okay. To talk yeah. to us. So I actually got a, it, it's a nat 20, but I got a 25. Well, nat 20 either way, crit. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so he goes. Well, oh, uh, there was, there, there seemed to be this dark elf-looking person, and he, he had a band of other goblins. They weren't us. I promise. I promise. There were another set of goblins, and uh, they, they shot arrows at the people. And one of the, one of one of the guys, I think, I think died. But the goblins took him and ran. Do they you took know him? what direction? They, they went off. That way, and he kind of points on down the road more. All right. So they just went down the road? Possibly, yes. Or is it like a fork in the road and they went a direction? You re- you guys really can't see anything. It just keeps on going for a while. You just should- you just see that it's under it's undergrowth and it just keeps on going for a while. Then should Wait, we just... is he... So he's currently under, like, friend spell or whatever? Yeah, he's, so... he's charmed right now. So right now, if I was to slap I, him, because I kind of want to no. slap him to see if he'll cure his stutter. <clears throat> what it is, is I, I have advantage on all charisma tra- checks directed at him. Yeah, only he is. You don't. When, when yeah. it ends, the creature realizes that it, I use magic. Yeah. 
so it typically becomes hostile towards me. So I can't slap the stutter out of it. You not necessarily. That's murder. You'd probably kill the damn thing. You're a <laughs> That's fucking minotaur. That's probably true. That's probably true. <laughs> Slapping a goblin, which is a lot smaller than you are. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you, you guys do that, and um, he's like, right, can you please just put me down? I'm kind of scared of heights. Wait, wait, wait am I holding him? You yeah, just, I, I you never said the, oh, okay, you didn't pick him up. No, I, I didn't pick him up. Yeah, because no. you said you initially wanted to pick him up. Oh, okay. And then he was like, no, don't pick him up. And I was oh, like, okay. okay. All right. Then he's sitting there and he's like, "Ah, oh, well, that that's a very nice uh, thing, but we we gotta get going. So we're, uh, we're, we're just gonna see you bye." And then they both just dash off. They just dash off. Yeah, they just they just zip off into the woods. That's with some nice, helpful goblins. As, <laughs> as we totally could have we totally we totally could have found out what goblin tasted like, but I held back. As as um as I'm, I'm gonna are, say after. Smelling them, they probably didn't taste good. So I just realized, hey. so since Hen doesn't know common, he just sounds like he's mumbling random gibberish to me. Wait, and Hen, so we have to use Gab as I a just translator. Know common. Minotaurs by default know common. Everybody oh, knows you common. You only have a Bissell Giant common. and Goblin on here, though. I know, I forgot to write it in. So oh, technically, okay. though, you don't know common. So does that mean I don't know common? That would be hilarious. <laughs> yes, we have to use Geb as a translator. Oh god! god. Not... All right, fine. Okay. So now, sh- now every time I'm talking to you guys, I just have to tell Geb what to say to you. <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> oh. Translate. Translate All right, what do, you, what do you want me to tell them? Like, that'll be fun. Well, I don't what need do you, you to tell them anything. I don't. I, that that just came up suddenly. Okay. So should we should we head out? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Um. We, have to, we should stay in on guard. I'm going to ask awesome. what happened. What you say to Hen. That's another Sorry. thing you have to do. What'd you say? So I'm going to ask oh. what happened with the goblins, since I couldn't understand what you the, guys talking. They, oh, yeah. they told us that there's there are goblins shot the people, and then we have to go down the road. Oh, that, okay. That's the gist of it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And why did, why did we break out into song? Yeah, I'm um, out myself. I to, to make them like us more. Yeah. <laughs> but it scared them. Anyways, I put the reins back on. Okay. Oh, well, let's go. I dropped the you guys gonna get in the wagon? Okay. Yeah, are I'm, you guys I'm gonna like, Are you guys gonna, like, search the horses or anything? Or... Oh, that's a oh. good... Yeah. Yeah, let's search the horses. Can we... Figured... And I'm serious about this. Because we don't... Do we have, like, food with us? You guys, uh, when you first left, they gave you a small, like, little chunk of rations, do but we, it's not going to... Need... But if oh, we're, we're going on, like, a mission that we didn't think we were going to be going on, we need more food, so let's take the horses. Well, well these horses are rotting, <laughs> so you can't... They're rotting? Them. They're getting... starting to, right? Uh, like I said, it's, it's, been a, it's been a few hours. You so, can smell that they're not, like, they're very ripe now, so... Don't you know, uh... You I would say you take them, we boil them into a stew. Uh... Yeah, we have to relay so we can... We can understand. He he said we should just eat it raw. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm no. not for that again. Tell him How I don't dare. like that idea. Uh, they they say they say we should totally eat it raw. <laughs> I say I don't want to eat it raw. We should eat it in a stew. I say that he's being a baby. <laughs> Tell him stop being a baby. It was his idea to eat it raw in the first place. Why is he backing down now? <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, I don't want to do it, man. Oh god, yeah, this is gonna be so bad. Oh, this is beautiful, I love it. Wait, do you do you know, um, because isn't there, uh, somebody should know purify food and drink? Oh, isn't that like a normal wizard cantrip or something? That's a wizard Paladin, thing. Did, Paladin knows it. Yeah, I know Paladin Leon should. can. Does that, do you touch a creature and drop power from the pool? Oh, right, no, I have Paladin your charge know it. I tell Iramir, cast purify food and drink on the horses. No, oh. there we go. Do I have that? Yes, you do. It's first level paladin. Yeah. I'm not. Oh. Wait, I'm not paladin. He's not a pal- I'm the paladin. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I look at you confused. Like I have blessed touch. That I guess that would be the thing that would cure things, if anything. Ah, uh, I guess so. Yeah. I know. Oh, I know. There's a thing called purify food and water. This isn't pure fang, that's just healing and cure of disease, I guess. Then that would just be for healing and curing and stuff. Paladins get purify food and drink at first level. Yeah, you should have it. 
Okay, this doesn't list it. All right, I guess I can purify the food. Well, we'd have to make it into food first. Wait, wait, wait. Purify <laughs> dead body. What okay, languages? Good. Okay, um, Gab. Yeah. I ask you to ask them what language, what other languages they know, other than. Um, what other language do you guys know? Uh, common, elf, and draconic. I know common, uh, elf, and abyssal. They say common, common, and common. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> do you know? Do you know some uh, elf? Do you know elf? Tell them. Tell them, because at this point, I I'm kind of suspicious that you're trying to mess with stuff. So t I say, tell them that I don't know. Ah, that's not gonna work. Reverse psychology. You're too smart for that. <laughs> um, He's a giant. You tell them. Too smart for that. You know what? Tell them that I know giant and abyssal. Uh, he knows common, and then he knows goblin. Well, if he knows common, why isn't he talking to us? Like <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He won't talk to it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think we I know the same question. Trickery. Tell him why he's being such an asshole and just talk to us. Know this is trickery by now, since he just yeah, said he I knows common, but talk. I know. I don't know why he won't talk. I Wait. say, let's go on the road. Let's go on the road, guys. Let's okay, go. I'm, yeah, I'd let's start go. Talking Whatever. Abyssal to see if he knows abyssal. Yeah. Just you you start talking in abyssal? No, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. I'm like, oh my god, finally, someone who's not gonna, like, F with everything I say. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know abyssal. I'm like, yeah, now we can actually talk. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you that whatever he thought we should do, that whatever Geb said I thought we should do, we should cook the horses. God dang it. Okay, that sounds good to me. Okay, I then relay that what... And just told me to squid, and that Gab has been fucking with us. <laughs> Sounds about I right. I don't have fun. <laughs> we all turn on Gab. So we eat the raw horses, right? <laughs> no, no, we cook it, and then, then then I purify it. But you have to make it into food first before you can purify it. I well, mean, then cook it. You guys uh, are like also up chop it up. We chop, I, I take out my battle axe, and I'm just like chop, chop, chop. I just realized squid's the only one who can't talk the hen. Oh well. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, I, 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 I hope I can trust, I can trust you, because I know I can't trust Geb. He, that's been, that's clear by now. So someone put the chopped up horse in a bag since we don't have a fire yet, and let's or move just on. Chuck it in the wagon. I was gonna say you guys are. It's somewhat close to evening, so I mean, if you guys it's do want to camp, sleep, yeah, you guys can set up camp if you want. He did send We've gone you... like five feet, and already we're setting up camp. No, you guys have been <laughs> traveling half a day down the road. Didn't you listen to the beginning? Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah don't you remember what happened a little while ago? Jeez, Geb. Short-term memory loss much? Short -term I say in, loss. in in So, should I... we set up camp and kind of hang out for the night? Sure, if you'd like. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down and say, guys, I've got the fire. I'm gonna cast minor illusion and summon a flame. <laughs> uh, what is so the save for minor illusion? Flame there. Wait, what is on. the what? The save for minor illusion? There's no save. I, know, is, I oh, thought there was an intelligence. Um, intelligence or so investigation check. Investigation? Yeah, but why would you check? Why would you check if you didn't think that he was gonna do an illusion? Yeah. Um, I have lost too many friends, and I am slow to make new ones. I am. Oh wait, no, that's not what I was meant to read. Does <laughs> illusion count as a charm? Because you're messing with people's minds. It no. Ca uh, can it? It depends on if it classifies as a charm already. It uh, does not take charm. It, an illusion that was charm would have to affect someone directly. Yeah, it's not like that. It just I create no. that. Okay. Well, I have 15 intelligence. I'm gonna um, make sure it, it's actually a fire. Uh, so you have, have no to reason be... to. So that'd be my, spell, my spell save is 16. Oh, my, so the, I don't know. Oh, my spell save. Um, my spell saves eleven. I will notice that there's no heat coming from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it can I, it can create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. So it creates heat. Snow, what? Wait, snow. Well, then, wait, wait, wait. Snow. It, create, light, it can smell. create light, light, smell, heat, any other sensory effect. So touch, it's like, just heat, as good light. as a fire. Yeah. And we don't yeah. care that it's an illusion. But it only lasts a minute. <laughs> well, but then, so, after the minute's up, we'll be like, hey, what happened? Just cast on. it again. 
I don't see how this is a problem. I was trying to make a joke. God, people are the worst. <laughs> This is D and D. I think you just helped us by not like consuming materials. <laughs> so there you go. I, I helped us. It's a minor illusion. I don't know if it really creates enough heat to like actually cook stuff. Cook a fire. It's just more like you feel some heat. That's about it. <laughs> okay. Um. Are we ne- like? Are we basically in the same place where we talked to those goblins before? Uh, I think the rangers you guys. go gather firewood. Personally, I have returned. That was quick. Yeah, the firewood. Uh, <laughs> yes, I went out and collected firewood. Sure. <laughs> there um, you go. I, so you guys set with my shop. knowledge and nature. On? I'm gonna assume I knew which firewood to get. Okay. Can I, while this is happening, because we saw that the goblins ran off. Can I go and s- follow where they went? You can if you'd like. I would like. Well, then go that. for it. All right, I go on. I go back on the path that the goblins took. Okay. Um, well, I asked. I asked the bear where the minotaur is going. Oh, uh, <laughs> I tell him that he's going to follow the goblins. Okay. I never told you that. You're psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm a bard. We 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 know music and psychic uh, and psychic. Okay then. So, okay, so I guess are you you're gonna hobble on down the trail then, or the road, whatever. It not is? Uh, not as much hobble as trample everything. Okay, that's not those aren't mutual. <laughs> that that's a bad idea. Okay. This being my favorite terrain. It's not my fault. I'm I've got kind big of, feet. Uh, annoyed that everything's being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> so did you just did you just run out into the woods or did you run down the road? Me? Yeah. I went. I followed where the goblins went, and they went into the woods. Oh well, you just you guys just saw them like run down the road. You didn't actually see a like full direction where they went. You just kept, <laughs> oh they, yeah they so did, they just kept running down run, the fucking road. Did he they run, run down, down the, road? the road? Oh yeah. So I that asked everyone a lot of things. if we're did, gonna stay here for the night, or are we going that, to move on? I just I just turned to many. Halo and go, man. I wish I knew where those goblins went. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, you guys saw where they went. I did it. I was behind. Okay. Well, are you guys going to rest for the night? Or are you guys no, going to hobble on off? Horse. I'll keep watch because... Are you going to cook a horse? Well, I will keep watch because... Oh, right. I, we have, I we have haven't done that yet. Aren't you guys a little hungry to go to bed? Yeah, let's eat. We'll save some for... The werewolf or the minotaur that just ran away. The we then why whole... did we just then why did we just cook the whole horse? That's what I'm saying. Let's cook the whole thing to where he can have something whenever he gets back. Right. Okay, we'll make some of it into horse jerky for like on the trail, you know, as a trail snack. You well, know we have how to make jerky? Like oh my god! All you have god. to do is kind of just like leave it out to dry, kind of. <laughs> it's undried. Yeah, except we have to leave it out for a while. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, because you don't like an hour. No, that's like a day. It's a, jerky's a long process. Do we have salt, dudes? Uh, like, yeah, you, you have, have you have a bunch of just like standard survival rations. Okay, then so, yeah, that salt includes salt. Spices, I love how there's like, like horse murders going on, and we're just sitting here like eating the murdered horses. That's what I'd do well, if I was an adventure. I'd be like, fuck stuff. it. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, no, yeah, free food. I mean, this was my idea to eat them. I oh think. wait, wait, okay. Have we cooked the meat, or are we? Do we have to do a check to cook the meat? No, no. You can cook it if you want. All right. I, you I, sure? Can I can I purify the meat so we don't get sick? If you'd like to. You have to purify okay. after you cook it, I think. Yeah. All right. Because okay, that's so exactly food. I'm gonna purify it. Cool. You pur you purified the meat, or you cooked it first. However, you. I'm gonna put this to. horse meat in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat a sizable but reasonable portion. <laughs> Indeed, I agree. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait till everyone's done eating because I'm literally just gonna eat what's left. I'm just gonna eat half the horse. <laughs> no. Like like Squid and I just got these nice like good sized steaks and everyone else. <laughs> and then we and just jump down. And then Geb's and literally and everything. He's literally I, holding a leg like a drumstick. <laughs> no, no, I'm ho- I'm holding both legs and the butt. And I'm just eating from the butt. And just <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat the booty yeah, like grocery. <laughs> That's, it takes a whole new meaning to eating the booty. <laughs> okay, it's not so like groceries, I, more I like, like takeout. I'll take the first shift when it comes to tonight. 
When you gotta eat, what do you like take out? Yeah, I won't have to sleep until tomorrow. Well, and I only I, need four hours. I so. tell, we have butt breath. I tell uh, Chikonis that I will take the shift after four hours. Okay. All right, I'll I take guess. the last shift. Shift. No. Oh, good. That means I can get my beauty sleep. Do you guys so really that's... need to take a shift? That's eight hours between the two of us. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I was thinking I can just go on. What time is it right now? Sure. Uh, I was thinking I could go since, all night. since setting up camp and cooking and everything, you guys have burnt a bit of the hours, so you're probably like early night, say like nine or ten at night. Okay. So yeah, well, we want to get up early because we're you know exploring something. So we, we probably only need two shifts. Everybody hit the sack. Get get um, immediately right. just fall. I just fall over and fall asleep. Wait a I'm second. Snoring. Where? What does our like setting up camp area look like? You have the, uh, the what's it called, the wagon. You guys are kind of strewn out. You have some of the supplies out. Small campfire, I assume. Since are we in guys... the wagon? No, no. You guys are just kind of sitting out on the road. I, oh. for, for mine, I grabbed a tree, just ripped the branches and the leaves off, set up a bed, and just, just fell asleep on it. I, I just sleep standing because I'm part cow. <laughs> guys, look. It, 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 Wait, it's aren't a... you following the road? No, I remember. No, he, I, he I, didn't run off. Oh, okay. When learning new information about the goblins, I instead just turned to Halo and said, "I wish I knew where the goblins went." Oh, okay, okay. That's all. I was like, "What, <laughs> guys?" I'm just gonna whisper to everybody else besides Gib. Guys, look, a sleeping panda. <laughs> Wait, how you, you whispered that to Squid and then to me? Uh, Squid is whispering it. Oh, I mean the uh, Halo. If he wants to relay it to you, you can go for it. Oh, okay, I relay it to him <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, I'm like, God. you probably got that off the internet. Alright. So, so, wait, can, can I kind of speak internet? with animals to speak with them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the night pretty much goes off without a hitch. You hear a little bit of the stirring and rumbling in the woods. Uh, you hear a few branches crack every now and then, but you figure it's probably just small animals running around and things like that. Nothing bothers going you. Going to take a leak. Well, four hours, four hours into it, I have to get up. Oh yeah, no, but I'm fine. just, I'm just explaining I'll, the whole I'll stay thing. For the aid. Um, as you guys, cool. as um, as you guys start drip it, drifting off to sleep, and the night wears on, you, uh, everyone's well, for whoever's awake. Uh, their visions. Well, elves technically don't sleep. They meditate. Say what? Yeah. Yeah, elves I only have don't to meditate sleep. For they meditate four hours, but I'm not gonna. I don't have to sleep at night. Okay. Necessarily, I can meditate at any time. Okay. I'm well, just, every, I'm meditating right now. Anyone who's awake and/or conscious um, right. notices that the uh, the world starts shifting ever so slightly, just in the small corner of your eyes and things like that. Um, as you as the night drags on, you kind of start feeling a little woozy, a little weird, kind of a little tipsy. Your uh, vision, the colors kind of mess up a little bit. And you think that you start hearing things crackling off in the woods and you see things kind of moving around behind the trees and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm having a dream about my parents. <laughs> my mother was a cow and my father was a very screwed up man. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, is this, just not for my character's knowledge, but is this a sleep magic of some sort? Not, no. No? Okay. No. Uh, you okay. guys you guys start seeing that um, the trees start getting a little rubbery looking, and the grass and all, everything around you just kind of starts getting a little rubbery looking and waving, and uh, it's, it's it's a little weird. It's almost like you're tripping or something. It's like mm. Noodle World? Kind of, well, I didn't yes. use my acid breath, so I don't know what that's <laughs> about. I don't think it meant that, but yeah. Yeah, so that goes on for a few hours until uh, whoever it is that passes out and wakes back up, and then that kind of just kind of just ends. All right. Well, I guess I wake up four hours in. Okay. Out of my cool. meditation we ha- state. We have no humans, right? They're no elves, humans. elves, minnow, tar, and panda. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm half human. So. I mean, oh, you're a half elf, but no, he's well, a minotaur. Oh, half cow. Half More man. like a third human. Yeah, technically. Half bull, half human. Only the third that matters. Yeah. 
okay so yeah if you know what i mean yeah you guys you guys pretty much like it it seems kind of like you're tripping or there's something weird going on i don't know if any of you notice it Uh, um when i notice my vision going weird i'll do a perception check okay you can if you'd like if that would help Mm, you can if you'd like Uh, I got a 14, I do the 3, 17. 17, okay. So you see there there are a few goblins in the um, in the woods, and every time you try and look at them, they just kind of vanish. Spooby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm. Mm-mm. I'm still asleep. Yeah. There, okay. are, there are a few things you hear as the night drags on. The uh, the visions and whatnot get a little bit more intense. You start hearing whisperings coming from the woods, for whoever it is that's okay. awake. I think that'd be me. How many hours yeah. into this are we are are we in? You're to the point where it's been the four hours, and you guys switched the. Uh, okay, shift. so I I'm just now just like gaining consciousness. Yeah, so yeah, you're we're, we're switching shifts while okay. this is going. And and you're okay. So um, where... have I noticed anything trippy going on, or or is it just Allie, uh, Allie, right? Yeah, Allie. Allie's just waking up. Okay, so Allie, yeah, you. So you notice that you, as you're as you're waking up, you notice that you kind of got like, you kind of got rubber legs, and you're noticing that the world's kind of spinning and doing some weird stuff. All the, like I said, all the green around you is kind of like a noodle wiggling around, and you hear small, you hear quiet whisperings in the background. So in the whenever woods. Allie. For determining magic, right? Sorry. Does wisdom works for determining magic, right? I think so. Yeah, you'd need. No, um... that's intelligence. Yeah, it's intelligence, intelligence is arcana. Okay, what? so then can I do an intelligence check to see if I could find out what's going on? You can if you'd like. Uh, you an have, intelligence uh, check. Uh, try, try arcana, I guess. Yeah, anything magic is arcana. Yeah. but are you proficient in it? Uh, yeah, that's I'm the question. Not proficient. So you, no matter what you roll, it gets minuses too because you're not proficient in that check. Well, Arcana. I don't think oh, it does yeah, minus no. two. I don't think it does anything. No, it just I mean, doesn't give you a bonus. I don't think. Yeah, it's just your uh, roll. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I could just try my intelligence roll and see what I get. Okay, go for it. Yeah. All right. So twenty. A <laughs> straight twenty. Really? Dang. Oh. There's yeah. a lot of high rolls today. But yeah, you guys are some high rollers. Um, so do I add that on to my? Uh, base intelligence or what no you you no. rolled the 20 you and then you, yeah you rolled your 20 and you add your uh whatever your modifier is but is he doesn't get throw? to add he doesn't get to add because he didn't have it a proficient remember yeah so it's just regular it's just a, it's just a straight 20 then yeah. natural 20s are great though so yeah, yeah yeah okay so um wait but then what is the plus one plus two at the bottom of the stats is that only for that's just throws? where you can know that's what that's you know you can do. Yeah. Oh, okay. You okay. Yeah. Good. So if proficient. I'm profi- I'm proficient in persuasion, so it's a plus five because proficiency in charisma equals oh, plus five. Well, we were we were playing yeah. that wrong before then because we were just adding that to every roll we did. Eh, I think E five is a little different. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I in, in Pathfinder. Okay. Yeah. In Pathfinder, say that's... No matter what you get those. All right. Pluses. So then, what okay. did I find out? From okay. The, uh, so um you see a bunch of really weird creatures kind of off in the distance in the forest and whatnot and as you try and focus on them yeah you all kind of gets like poof out of existence you hear a bit of whispering a little bit more of whispering you can't really make out what it says in the um in the woods and then like i said you can see all the green and everything kind of just wiggling and waving and shrouding around you but you can't detect any type of magical anything Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Whenever tap Draconis on the shoulder. Ex- oh, I was about to talk to you when you exited. Okay. Um, well, I was gonna. I'm gonna approach him that, uh, and go. He, wait, my knows there's goblins, right? Draconis knows I'm, those are goblins. I'm talking to Utsi. Oh, uh, I didn't hear you. Draconis knows that it's goblins that are doing that, right? Like you saw the goblins. Uh, you saw a few goblins that were kind of, but like I said, they kind of just poofed out of existence as you looked at them. Yeah. 
Uh, I, but uh, Allie didn't know what creatures they were, so I'm just going to oh, tell yeah. them that goblins. I, didn't I notice they were goblins? around? Came. No, no, you you saw you saw everything. Yeah, you saw that they were goblins. Yeah, I saw goblins. Yeah. I saw they were goblins. Oh, I thought I heard creatures. Nope. And I, I saw goblins. As you guys were as you guys uh, were starting to like walk um, towards each other, it uh, I'm just gonna assume. Huh? Continue. I'm just going to assume that's that. Uh, as as you guys are kind of just like sitting there trying to make sense of everything, it kind of just fades away. It just now, like, now everything's back to normal. Yeah, you kind of just like fade back into normal. That is trippy. Mm. Okay, I, I still go up to Draconis and I go, I do not like these woods. I feel we should leave as soon as possible. Uh, we need to finish her job before we can leave. All right, why don't you go on? Why don't you meditate for a bit? I will stay on watch. Okay, good luck with that. Holler if you need anything. Okay. Well, oh, now we back on her armor, and then she just stands our guard. And let's see, I'm trying to Going see... To I'm trying to see how many days out you guys are. Uh, we'll say you're about three days out. Okay. Yep. Three days? What? Remember back well, we then... We only spent half a day, and then this is the night of that half a day. You spend half a day not moving much. You moved maybe... Like I said, about a halfway day down the trail, then you set up camp. So, so how has it been three days? No, I said you have about a three day journey to the place you need to be. Oh, it will, it will take three days. Yeah, we only have half okay. a day going yeah. for us. Yep. So, so we've only made half a day's worth. Yeah, yeah, and then that's when like the horse thing happened and the goblins and all that. And then I guess the rest of the night goes off without a hitch, and whoever it is that needs to wake up does and. It is you hear a rooster off in the distance for some odd reason. Arca doodle do. Roosters, squid's greatest weakness. Are are they? I don't think so. Okay, I was gonna the say the deadly Yoshi. sea rooster. Damn, you are typing a lot, Gib. What? Someone's typing a lot. Can hear it very. Um. So yeah. So you guys kind of get up. And you notice that... Did you guys eat all of the horse, or did you, like, stash it away? Gavin hadn't ate it all. Yeah, we, we really? kind of just chowed down on that thing. He, he ate the butt, he, I ate the like, face. Like, meat, bones, everything? Everything. Yeah. I'm gonna have some anno some really annoying stool. But... I even ate the butthole. <laughs> like, that's how, that's how much was eaten. That, that he is... Ate, he ate the poo that was inside the butthole. And now he has, <laughs> now he has ass breath. That's that's nice. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm, I'm a panda. We're adorable. We always have the breath of roses. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. I really Maybe don't think so things. either. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I pick up I pick up everybody and I just throw them on the cart and I just say, "Let's go." How did oh, you God. throw me? <laughs> how I'm you strong. Be able to pick him up. He's twice your weight. I'm strong. You throw me onto the cart. The cart breaks. Great. So cart now what do you do? <laughs> Can we just go? You guys can if you want. Go. Put on the Wait, cart. Can we retcon that whole Geb throwing us onto the cart? Yes, yeah, you don't break the uh, cart. The, that, yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> he, he touches me and I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put these reins on here. Show, show, the, show where he touched you on the stall. <laughs> he touched me on the head, but with his dingling. <laughs> but... I do my ding a do. No way. It's funny because in the storyline of my character, mm. the, like it, all it says is one day he was born and now he's here and stuff. Also, his fifth grade teacher molested him. <laughs> That's all I have for backstory. A minotaur is a fifth grade teacher. Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you think There's we learned all these? Fifth grade. In the do you think we learned all these useful things like talking to goblins and? Making jerky. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, the Minotaur School. I forgot about that. The Great Minotaur School of Neverwinter. But uh, okay. So I guess you guys are heading out then. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are going on down the trail and whatnot. Uh, as you're going, you notice just the normal people that would normally be walking. You see small bands of people, a few adventurers, some mercenaries. You see a few guards every now and then, kind of walking the trails. Not too much. Um. As you're walking, there's there comes to this kind of like this big opening, and you can see that there's a bunch of uh, small stalls and whatnot, 
and it looks like it's not essentially like a farmer's market, but you can see the people are selling a bunch of different things over there. Mm -hmm. Can we go take a look at what they're selling? If you want, go for it. All right, I'm going to take my reins off and just head down uh, into, the, into the shopping area. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Hold on. I'm going to turn around, put the reins back on, and bring us into, like, a parking area so not blocking the road. Well, it's not really, like, a full-fledged <laughs> town. It's just... It's kind of like a Woodstocky type thing where it's just a big field of people in it. Woodstock? Still don't want. Still don't want to be Brocket. Okay. Did you just say Woodstock? Wood. <laughs> That's gonna be my <laughs> festival. No, but um, yeah, no. It's just kind of like this. It, it's kind of like a farmer's market. There's just a bunch of people selling different things. You see a I'm few weapons, a bunch of food. I'm gonna move it off to the side of the road at least. Probably a good then idea. Then on rain and go check out some foods. Okay. Well, I ask if any of the others want to stay guard and watch the cart. <laughs> uh, I, I will. Stay guard and watch the cart. Oh, you will? Okay. Yeah, I'll stay. So I'll go with them. So wait, maybe maybe we should have two two elves and a minotaur instead of a minotaur, a giant panda, and then an elf. That's maybe that be sounds less a bit more reasonable. Less yeah. All I know is. I need to have at least, like, I, if Squid is there, I need to have at least someone else, because he doesn't speak, because I don't speak, he doesn't speak Giant or Abyssal or Goblin. Oh, Actually, that's yeah, right. Geb should go with instead. That's okay, true. I'll go with. But Geb is, Geb is not trustworthy in terms of <laughs> translation. I'll, I, I'll I, I put it back, I, I go do something. He, I he comes you, over and I'm just like, uh-uh. I tell you, I'm like, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm It's fine. just a prank, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm good. So I, 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 I say, super child. I'm, I say to you, don't pull any of that crap anymore, or you know, I'm gonna. I I not say be very I, happy with you, yes, sir. I I say I won't, and then I have two fingers behind my back, uh, twisted. Why would you tell me that? I didn't <laughs> say that. I said that as the general, like that's what I did. You don't have to say that for things like that, you know. Oh, okay, fine. No, I'll go over here. Okay, so... Um, I didn't say it to him, but, you know, whatever. So. Yeah, well, if you have two fingers behind your back, I can't see it, but can't the other people see it? Uh, if anybody's behind me. The other people aren't really concerned. Well, they're they're very concerned because there's a giant panda and a minotaur that... No, are I, I mean, I mean, um... I mean, uh, Halo and Squid. What is Squid doing? Being a squid. Wait, do you guys oh. not... Can you guys not see that Geb has two fingers behind his back? Because I can't. Geb just keeps keeps going and starts looking at the at the stalls. Uh, so as you guys walk up, the um, there's a small band of mercenaries in the back that are kind of eyeing you, and there's a few guards that look like from Neverwinter, and they uh, they kind of like they rough up, they stand up straight, and they're they're watching you very very intently. I, d oh, I just and look the, at um, them, give give them a salute, and I say sup. And I keep walking. <laughs> And the uh, the guards just instantly relax after that. They're they're like, oh, all right, and they just keep going back to play in uh, Gwent or whatever it is they're doing. Wait, are there any like shop looking? Like, is there like a shop? You know, it did, like not technically a shop. Like they're little like rinky dink stalls that people made. But there's a bunch uh, of them. It, it's essentially like a flea market. I just want to look around and see if there's any that sell just like vegetables. Uh, okay. Um, you notice that there's one. God, he's a vegan. There's a few over. That's there's vegetables. There's a uh, there's a little girl and her mother, uh, with the stand. Oh my there. God! Yes, I go to that one. And they, um, the little girl kind of laughs and you know is like pointing and smiling at you, and the mother is. Very in a, sheepish. In a mocking way, or in no, a, like, like oh. kind of like yeah, kind of like child wonderment and everything. And oh, the uh, the mother, the mother at first is smiling and whatnot, and then she looks up at you and she just has this face of utter horror on her face, and she's so is, she's trying to like pull her girl back a little bit. And um, so I just ignoring all of that, I turn to Geb and tell him that to tell her that I'm just looking for some, like, carrots, you know? Carrots? Okay. Uh, he says that he wants to eat your daughter. <laughs> God damn. And I, just say, I, and I just say, I'm, I'm completely kidding. He wants carrots. <laughs> just kidding. You, you heard for a split second that the mercenaries kind of jumped up, and then they just kind of, they're just kind of standing there staring at both of you now. It's a group of about I, 12 I mercenaries. I see the mercenaries. I see the mercenaries giving us a glare, and I turn to Geb and go, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I, I, I legit look at them. I'm like, can I? Can we have some carrots? <laughs> and she <laughs> she pulls she uh, she kind of like scurries around, drops a few things to stumbling, and um, she pulls out this bucket and or like a little basket that she weaved from under the table, and there are two of the tiniest puniest carrots you've ever seen. <laughs> Probably not even like bigger than one of your hairs. I look at I, I see these carrots, and I literally just burst out laughing, like fall on the ground laughing, like <laughs> so I literally fell onto the ground. Which like, probably terrifying. as as you as you fall and laugh, there are like ten oh. people that scatter behind you, and <laughs> they just kind of they I, just kind of burst. I say it through my laughs. I'm like. <laughs> Can you ask them if they have anything that, like, is, like, so, like could feed someone that has any appetite at all? Like, I, I want I, food, not I, scraps. I look at them and say, he's really fat. Can you find something that's, that will sate his hunger? He Okay, so the little girl kind of laughs, and she kind of, like, points down below the stand and you guys notice or well i guess whoever was looking noticed there are two there are like three or four big celery stalks about the size of a tree trunk oh Oh, gross no gigantic celery make some armor out of that like how big is this (laughs) celery how big it's this celery is probably as thick as your leg it's fibrous only geb knows that because i'm on the ground laughing so I look I'm at like, him and I'm just like. So I'm like, Gev, what do they have? And then. Those are big mother effing celery stalks. <laughs> How big, Geb? <laughs> How big are they? As big as your mama. <laughs> Is that what you told me? Oh, God. <laughs> because my mama was pretty damn big. L- l- listen, I whisper to you and I'm just going to be like. This is the first of very many your mama jokes. I'm a bard. It's all your mama jokes. His mother was literally a cow. This isn't figurative. <laughs> Who right, get I'm wrecked? Back. No, seriously, she was. Uh, oh. I'm back. What's going on? And now she's a burger. Uh, you you missed Henzoid almost crushing someone to death laughing. Uh, Wasn't it ten, ten people? Uh, yeah, that's right, ten people. Uh, okay. Else, um, okay, so... I have... Continue. Wait, so I say, so Geb... Uh, ask them how much it costs. I, I relay that information. Okay, um, the, the girl's kind of laughing. She says seven million gold, but the, the mother kind of like hushes her real quick. She's like, ah, I'll, I'll give it to you for, for ten gold per stock. And then, so Gab. You gotta remember, they're essentially small trees of celery. (laughs) Gab, how much is it? It's ten gold per trunk. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't use gold currency because I am basically allergic to gold. Oh, are you really? Yeah, that's, um, that's why my last name oh, is Malarum. That means with bad it. gold. Can I say that I've been watching me? them kind of just like sighing? Yeah, I don't um, use gold. I, I use, I use, sh- um, the, um, so I- it's this weird stuff called dollars. The mother, <laughs> we only have gold, bro. Yeah. There's four different currencies in D&D, but I'm only using gold. I don't want to, like, use the others. Copper, platinum, gold. Like, then that means I electrum. can't touch money. Then um, you can't touch money. Then you can, you can have silver pieces, I guess, and it'll add no, to gold. No, gold, we don't want to do that. Gold. <laughs> but, guess. Uh, he can never but have But I do money. have a savings account. Wait, wait <laughs> I, don't, I don't start with, I don't start with gold. Card? Ye old savings account. account. Okay, so she just she just has like this, this adequately sized watermelon. She kind of like just pushes over the table to you. And she's Who like, does? Hey, the th- mom this is daughter. The... Like for free? Yeah. She's like, hey, this this is this is all I have. I say I say to Gab, can we just I, take this? I I look at them and I hand them twenty gold pieces. Okay. And then I also have in my bag, um, a little doll. Mm. I'm not even kidding. I literally have a doll, and I That's hand it to awesome. the little girl. Oh, and I give it to her. And then and I, I say, say thank you. And then I say to him, "You want to play some Metallica?" <laughs> I say I, to them, "No, that's a terrible idea." No, I say I say to you, "How the hell are you talking from so far no, away?" I, huh? I, I, I look at him and I tell him, "Do you what? know the show The Wiggles?" Oh God! <laughs> Let's play the theme song. 
So we start playing the Wiggles theme song. What? I, I don't do know it all wrong because I I do it all wrong because I only watch good terrible kids shows. <laughs> so what's a good what, kid what show? TV show. What's a Wiggle? King of the Hill. <laughs> I no, we play the Teletubbies. God theme dang song. it, boy! What's a Teletubby? Yeah. Okay, so as you, every time I do this, I'm being a Teletubby. Oh god. Okay, so so anyways, as you you take it and you kind of notice that they, they they relax a little bit because you gave her the little I, no, doll. I pick up the whole table, right? No, <laughs> no, you do not. They're a nice family. <laughs> yeah, but they offered me the whole. This is all that we have: this table and some celery. So I'm like, thanks for the entire <laughs> table full of celery. They gave you the celery and they gave me the watermelon. You keep the chair there, or I will kill you. <laughs> Go move. And then you have nothing to harm me except for money. Actually, he'll so throw money at you. So <laughs> much you. psychic I'm spell. Severe allergic reaction. Okay, so. <laughs> I just start throwing money at him, and he just starts burning. <laughs> Wait, if <laughs> we try your head then. If we, if we get to a bank or something, can I have like gold notes? Like, I uh, yeah, we'll 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 like work the on check something. version of gold. We'll work on something for you. Don't worry. <laughs> like you have to be wearing like a hazmat suit in order just to get by. <laughs> well, because contact with gold or any gold products causes extreme agony and loss of health. Or I don't know, you could get gloves. 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 Chocolate. No, I, I like that to get work. this entire God. hazmat suit for a minotaur. <laughs> this is gold related products, so that might include like little bits of air that came off of the gold. I doubt Just it. get tons and tons of rubber and we build them a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> like a gold piece. Okay, so anyways, as this goes on, you guys, you know, you're just kinda of fucking around. Everyone else kinda of, like relaxes a little bit now that the Minotaur isn't crushing anyone. And you you could they kinda of just go back to their own little thing. The guard kinda of relaxes, the mercenary just goes back mercenaries go back to drinking. And um yeah, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. At the very end, there's a blacksmith, like a small little smithy. That you hey, pay. Hey. hey, hi. How are you? Is there just a blacksmith in the middle? Just, just, is the blacksmith area in the middle of just this open area? Well, there's like there's like rocks and stones. It looks like he kind of built his own little makeshift area. Like this is something that they do regularly. What? It's like, like I said, it's like a little flea market. With just crazy hot burning stuff, like, well, I'm there? Sure, I'm sure he's built it up over time. He didn't just bring molten lead all of a sudden. Well, yeah, and you can't really move a blacksmith. Yeah, he, like I said, he has, like, a small little smithy set up. So this is like, this is like a nomadic area where they just come and go every so often. Kinda, yeah. It's like seasonal. They come during like the spring and summer, but they leave during the fall and winter. Essentially, yeah. You see a small uh, off in the distance. You see like some little huts and whatnot, some tents, makeshift. We'll see area. huts in the distance. How are we looking on time? <laughs> um. Oh. Uh. The recording reset itself. I hope that didn't erase everything. Oh. Yes. Uh, be, well, we've been over no. an hour. Oh, I just wanted to bring up. I have to go in a minute to cook dinner. Okay, well, actually, we can take a break here so that I can know if the recording didn't just corrupt or yeah. anything like that. All right. Yeah, All right. I'll try and keep us posted on time. I just noticed we've been going for a while. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you guys are getting into it, so... <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. into it. I just have to cook dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I need to get some food anyway. Yeah, so we'll meet back in a little bit. Okay. <laughs>